My name is Heidi McLaughlin. I'm the founder and director of IMAS, the Infant Massage Information Service. I've been teaching baby massage for 16 years now, and the thing I love most about my job is watching parents develop a strong bond with their baby and seeing the baby respond to proper massage technique. It's important that you've got a warm, comfortable and quiet room. You should forget about the rest of the things that you're doing for the day. You should put the phone off the hook or put your phone on silent, just so you can focus your full attention on yourself and your baby. For babies that are under five months of age, you shouldn't combine massage and bath time together. You're better off massaging after a nap. You need to see that your baby's willing to make eye contact prior to massage because it's an indication that their nervous system is ready to receive stimulation. If they're avoiding eye contact, it can be a sign that they're overstimulated. When dialing up touch time through baby massage, it's very important to have a high quality medium, one that is free from soap, fragrance, or common irritants for massage. That will help relieve any dryness and hydrate your baby's skin. To begin massage time, you rub your hands in front of your baby and ask, do you want a massage now? Just make sure that they're lying there happily, making eye contact with you. A massage should always begin on the baby's legs. This is the least intrusive way to commence massage because their legs are touched so many times during the day with nappy changes. You should always use long, firm strokes. Light and feathery touch can irritate your baby. There's no set amount of time that you need to concentrate on each area. Massage should only last for as long as you and your baby are happy to continue it, and that applies to the whole body. The usual order you would use for massage is the legs, the buttocks, the abdomen, and then the chest, the arms, the face, and then the head, and then finally the back. Massaging the abdomen in a clockwise motion is extremely important. This is the direction substances move through the intestinal tract. Massaging on the abdomen can help with colic, can help with wind, and it can also help with constipation. When you're massaging your baby's chest, the first thing that you need to do is place your hands nice and still without any movement on the chest and watch for the arm movements. If you see the baby's arms remain open, uh, that means you can continue the massage. They want massage to happen on the chest. If your baby's hands close over the top of your hand, they're trying to hold your hand in place. They're happy for your hand to be there, but they don't want any chest massage. If your baby's hands start moving in and out of the body, even if it's only a subtle movement, that means you don't massage the chest for that massage time. It's great to make a lot of eye contact with your baby during massage time, sing, talk to your baby, you can incorporate nursery rhymes. You might even like to play some music in the background that you listen to throughout pregnancy. The most important thing for baby massage is that you're not watching the clock. The massage time or the length of massage should be determined by your baby. Baby massage is so important and there's such a long list of benefits for you both to enjoy. Massage helps develop healthy sleep patterns for your baby, it improves circulation and helps with digestive system function. I hope you'll use these massage tips and enjoy the time together.